Hello all, welcome to part 22 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to attach screenshots to Extent Reports at the log level. Okay. Till the previous sessions, I covered or explained how to attach screenshots to the Extent Reports at test level. but in this session, I'm going to show you how to attach the screenshots to the extent report set log level. Okay. So, so what we have to do for attaching the screenshots to extent report set log level for that, we have to write this code guys. Okay. Where we have to write this code and all I'm going to cover practically now. Okay. We have to add this statement media entity builder dot create screen capture from something like that. Okay. I'm going to practically demonstrate. So you'll understand easily. So let's switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this uh, code already written we have we were using this code guys so here guys if you clearly see here we are adding the screenshot from base 64 string okay the base 64 uh, type of captured screenshot using this by calling this method we are attaching that to the test level you see at the extent test level test level we are attaching the screenshot or also we are providing the title for the screenshot okay similarly here another method was there which I have demonstrated in the previous session add screen capture from path where we are calling this method and this has another uh, other way of uh, taking the screenshot using selenium code where output type is file whereas this method output type is base 64 two ways we have already utilized guys both the ways we are attaching the screenshot at the test level not at the log level so let me run this code again guys okay where you can see how the screenshots are getting attached at the test level rather than at log level first after that i'll explain why we have to go for the log level okay so let's run this uh, default code, okay, without changing anything. And we can see that once it is run, okay, once it uh, the automation script is executed, a report will be generated for us where you can see the screenshots, okay. Both of the screenshots will be there at the test level rather than at the log level, okay. HP has been typed and browser is closed and a report will be generated now. You see test one pass and you see there are two screenshots, guys. One is a uh, base 64 screenshot. This is base 64 image, you see. Now to click on that, it will not have any preview. That's okay. And it has a title guys, Tutorials Ninja homepage. You see, there's a homepage of the Tutorials Ninja. And after, after searching for the HP product here, we have taken the screenshot and using the, using, using the path of the screenshot, we have taken this, okay, another method. So the preview is available for this, but I feel that I personally feel that this screenshot should not be there at this uh, test level, rather they should be there at the log level. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, if at test level, only one screenshot should be there, but, uh, the screenshots looks like for every log, uh, a screenshot is there. So let's move the screenshots to the log level rather than at the test level, guys. How to move the screenshots to the log level? For that, I'll do some changes here, guys, okay? So I'll go here and uh, do some changes here. I'll write something like this, okay? etest1 dot log of, okay? At the log level, I want to do that, okay? I'll add the screenshot at the log level. That's why I'm going with log. Here, I'll say status dot info, info log I'm creating. And here I want to add the screenshot. Okay. For this particular log, I want to add the screenshot. For that, already mentioned, we have to add this statement known as media entity build builder. Okay. Let's try that media entity entity builder. Okay. Media entity builder dot here we have this methods. Okay. Here add screen capture is there. Here add keyword will not be there. But uh, when you are accessing this method using the media entity builder, add keyword will not be there. It will start from the create onwards okay instead of add create is there okay here add add or there add skin capture from base 64 is there add skin capture from for test level for uh, log level it's like create okay instead of add we have the create keyword create skin capture from base 64 string okay i want to go with the title also guys okay you can go with this one without title or with this one with the title i want to just better go with the title guys okay i'll select this one and here I need to provide, I, I'll just copy this uh, text screenshot, okay? It will retrieve, you see, when you call this method text screenshot, this text screenshot method will be called and it will return you the base 64 screenshot code, okay? Will be showed. Using that uh, base 64 screenshot code, okay? The screenshot will be attached to the log, okay? And here, here one more thing you have to do, guys, okay? You have to give the title also. You have to give the title also. What is the title you have to give? The same title. I just want to give the same title guys tutorials in your home page as a title okay now finally this uh, step is not done guys at the end you have to say dot build okay don't forget to provide build otherwise you'll get errors okay now after adding build here everything is fine okay up to build you have to write you can see here 
create screen capture from base 64 string and dot bit okay and uh, everything is fine okay dot bit next one next one I i'll comment this one out okay because i don't want to and uh, attach the screenshot at the test level now. So I'm commenting it. Tomorrow, if I need it at the test level, I can re-enable it by removing the comment. For now, at the log level, we are attaching the same screenshot, which is taken using the base 64 format, okay? Output type as base 64. Now, in the second one, we were taking the screenshot using the path, right? But this screenshot is being attached to the extent report at the test level. But I want that also to be uh, captured and attached to the extent report at the log level. So for that, again, e test one dot log I have to type and say status dot info okay status dot info and here I have to provide the same thing guys okay media entity same thing okay entity builder dot create using path right so I'll take path and title this okay I want to use uh, there are two overloaded methods here okay I only path you can provide or path with the extra title also you can provide I'll go with the extra thing title and here I will call this method guys. Okay, take screenshot and return path. The same thing, guys. Okay, whatever I have done here. Okay, take screenshot and return path. I am passing the file name as HP search here for the screenshot name. And here I'll be giving the title. What is the title? The same title. HP product search is the title. Okay. So I'm just moving the screenshots from the test level to the log level, guys. I'll comment this one out. And you see, you are still getting the error because at the end, you forgot to provide dot build case. Okay, when you say dot build here, then the error will be gone. Okay, now the errors are gone. Everything is fine. Now run the script, guys. Now that you will you will see the screenshot uh, screenshots captured screenshots either using base sixty four or by using the normal file output type as file uh, where path is written. All the screenshots will now be there at the log level that than at the test level now. Okay, right click run as the obligation. You will see that in the generated report extended report. You will see the screenshots attached at the log level instead of at the test level because I have commented out the code for the test level and uh, I have written the code for the log level now. HP will be typed, the browser will be closed and uh, screen, uh, the report will be generated and you can see the report guys. And as you can see here, now there are nothing at the test level. If the test level is there, before this data stamp, stamp details here, the screenshot used to come. Now at the log level, you see test one execution started navigated to home page is one log. And this is another log where screenshot is available. You see with the title also, to the home page. Click on this, you'll get a screenshot, okay? Without any searching term here. Now, uh, after the HP product name got entered into search box field and this is another log, four logs are there here. The fourth log screenshot is there again. For every log you are providing a screenshot, guys, okay? Some projects may require you to uh, capture the screenshots at the log level, guys. Okay. For every log, they want a screenshot. Some projects. Okay. It's not about all projects. Most of the project doesn't need that. But there may be some specific projects who need uh, proof for each and every step that got executed and they want to see everything. Okay. Um, when they investigate. So, such kind of projects really need the screenshots at the log level. Then this kind of process can be implemented. Now, you see the preview is coming because this is uh, by this, this 64 way this is a normal output type dot file way where preview is there and you can see the hp text we already typed hp product search okay so this is how we can uh, attach the screenshots to the extent report at the log level guys for that we have to use this code media entity builder okay uh, and create screen capture from base 64 or from uh, create screen capture from uh, path okay any of the things you can use uh, here only base 64 code is there comma title can be there or without or uh, title is optional guys okay in both of the cases so hope guys you understood how to attach the screenshots to the extent reports at log level in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another topic on extent reports for you till then see you bye bye